Kevin, a disappointing afternoon. What was your verdict? Yeah, I think Cove were deserved winners. Um, I think for 75 minutes of the game, you know, we, we created a half chance early with Josh in the left channel, but for 75 minutes, Cove were the best his side and should have been out of sight, to be honest with you, the last 15. And we proved well, you know, we, we stuck in there, the players, but you, you can't just turn up for 15 minutes on a Saturday. It was way below the standard that even we've set in losing three games, you know, we've now lost four and it's, I feel sorry for the fans who've invested and put a lot of trust in myself and Martin and, um, and uh, you know, I can only apologise for that performance, so, you know, I've defended my players because I think we've been unlucky at times, um, but today I don't think there's a defence, you know, it's time for men, it's time for people to stand up and be counted and, um, you know, we've, we've obviously We've had words there in the changing room, and, and we'll see what comes of that. But you know, we've, we've got to, we've, as I say, we've just got to stand up now. It's, it's uh, the time for the niceties is sort of came and gone, and the fans have lost their patience with me, you know. And um, but as I've, I've, I'll maintain that I want the fans, you know, aim that criticism at me. Um, the players are, you know, I've, I've never known a player to go on and want to lose a game of football. That's for sure. And they, what they've, whatever they've not produced today certainly wasn't a deliberate act. You know, they, they do try, but they're a bit short in confidence just now. Um, they're a bit short in belief, and you know, only results will turn that round. Um, but I, I believe the abilities there. I believe there's good players there, but you know, as I said, we're falling short at the minute. What did you put it down to? That it was only the last 15 minutes before the team came to life. Just we were, we were more direct. We started asking them questions at the back, and as soon as we done that and repeated it, they creaked and cracked, and eventually we get our goal. Um, and then there's mayhem in their box every time we get forward for the last sort of five, ten minutes, and that comes with the time of the game as well, you know. And maybe them feeling they should be a, a, way, a way out in the head, but um, ah, it's we need to learn to do not ignore the basics of football because the basics can bring you joy. Feel that we're trying to score the perfect goal at times, and it's no again, it's no something we're working on. Passing the ball a million times, you know, we, we need to get in behind. We need to, um, you know, ask basic questions of defenders and teams by turning them, by getting down the sides of them, by getting in behind them. These are the hard things to do with the players we've got at this club. Um, but as I say, we're not doing that at the minute, but we'll certainly be working on it again. Obviously, early days, but league table doesn't look no. too good at the moment. Do you believe we can turn this round? Aye. I totally believe we can turn it round. Um, I think the players, they need an injection, they need a shot in the arm. That's got to come with a result. Um, but Martin and I have now got to sit. And I think next week becomes a, a real pivotal moment in the season for everyone. Um, we'll go to Albion. And, you know, we have to show up there. We have to show up. And, um, no, I don't think there's much leeway now. You know, so um, we'll go there, you know, prepared as we've been every game and we'll go and give it our own and we'll be picking a team that represents that. No Dylan McIntyre, was he among the injuries as well? Nah, he's, he's been no well all week, you know, again just typifies you know, the story of this club for far too long, you know, it's hard luck stories all the time but it's got to stop, it's got to stop, you know, Ross McGee comes off with an injury there again, oh says him and that's, you know, frustration, you know, um, but you know, I'll be watching the game, you know, as soon as I get it and we'll we'll be trying to correct the wrongs that were today because it was wrong today, it just wasn't right. You know, there was no energy or a lack of it. It looked like a lack of energy, you know, and it looked like a lack of direction. Um but it's got to come for the players on the park, you know. Um and but um again, just want the game to come next week, to be honest with you. Um, but we'll wait and see what happens. And Dom in the first half coming off with a tactical tactical. Aye, no, listen. Drop her on a two, twice, three times, but you end up getting punished for it. I'm, I can't stand there and allow that to happen. You know, Dom's a fantastic lad. You know, I love him to bits. He's got great ability. He's outstanding against his five. Did well in the first half last week and earned his place. But these are harsh lessons as a young player that he's got to go through. Um, you know, and I just at that time we were getting run ragged. You know, so Div's got a wee bit more experience in there. And but again, it still took time for us to, to find our way in there. Um, Paul Willis has had to play four positions today, you know. It's uh, shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen, that kind of thing. I felt like the guys kind of stood off Cole. Was that a fear of, of getting you know, played through? It, it certainly was the instruction, you know. And at times I think you've just got to get to the closest jersey and follow, you know. And it, it was a wee bit of lack of that and a wee bit naive at times, you know. Just 
against the ball, you know, not recognising unless there are two evils going and creating pockets for Cove, you know, maybe a wee bit naive, as I say, I've touched on naive, but, um, you know, it's, credit where credit's due here, this wasn't about all but still an Albion played poorly today, Cove played well today for the majority of that game, so, you know, I'll give Paul and his team great credit and they thoroughly deserve the three points.